Isn't that beautiful? And you can win this thing! And I will tell you how at the end of the video. But now I will show you how to use watercolors. Right, Lawrence? <laughs> so let's get on it. But first I need to get rid of the baby. <laughs> you need to go to bed. Honey! <laughs> Okay, but now for real, how to use watercolors, especially in comic book drawings. And to show you properly how it's done, I will use this lovely watercolor paint set from Artistro, which you will be able to win, but more of that at the end of the video. Now, let's paint! My name is Dr. Rocke, don't forget to subscribe! First, some basics. You need proper paper like this Artistro watercolor paper. 300 gram per square meter. But you can also use a good quality bristle board. It has a smooth surface, which I prefer actually. Especially for drawing comics. But if you want to use more of those wet on wet techniques with all the blurry blendings, real watercolor paper would be the better choice. In any case, use tape to fix your piece of paper. Otherwise, it will fold from the water. Extra tip, tape it to a movable surface so you can move the drawing around as you wish. And if you take the tape and stick it to a surface like the t-shirt or something like that before you stick it to the paper, you make sure it's not too sticky anymore and won't ruin the drawing or the paper. There are two major techniques for painting with watercolors, wet on wet and wet on dry. And I will show you both techniques right now. First we need some water. Cheers! Best to fill two cups of water. One to mix the paint with and one to wash out the pencil. We will also need some paper towels. If you want to do a background like blue skies or some other bigger surface with smooth blendings, use the wet on wet method. And it goes like this. Gently add water to the surface you want to color. But not too much, just make it shiny. Then you pick a color. And add it to the surface just like that. And you let it blend in by itself. And just like that you have a nice blending. If you want the blending to be more smooth, you can use more water even. Or you can let it dry properly, which means you can either wait. Or if you're impatient as I am, use this dude, hair dryer. And then you can add another layer of paint, even with the wet in wet method. Cause that's the key thing how watercolors work, with layers. Let's try this out real quick. As you can see, in just a few seconds, you can paint and blend a big area. To show you the wet on dry method, I will take a pencil and do a really quick sketch. When you're using a pencil, make sure to use a very hard one like this 3H right here because then you make sure that the pencil lines will not be seen after the painting process. Now we pick up some water, like this, choose a color, make sure it's very light, it's a little bit too much, add water again, wash it out and then I will add the first layer for my wet on dry method. Very gently follow the line. And then I fade out like that. You can see it's getting lighter and lighter. Because the pigments are getting less. And that's what I want to achieve in this one. That's my first layer. Now we make sure that it dries properly. In this case I will use this dude again. Pick up some color again. Make sure it's not too much and add next layer. Usually when you have to wait for a layer to dry, you can do something else. You, can, you don't have to use the hairdryer all the time because you can wo work on another area meanwhile. But since this is just a small drawing, I need the hairdryer. And now I will add a third layer. Takes a lot of time, but makes for a very nice result. Very satisfying blending. Another very general tip, 
If you want to have highlights in your painting, you need to know where they need to be from the beginning. Because since this is watercolors, there's no proper white. So either leave them out from the beginning or you will have to mix the medias. You can use acrylic paint, colored pencils or acrylic markers to do some highlights after the painting is done. Works phenomenal. Let me just quickly paint an eye. You can see that's an eye, but it looks dead. It needs some life. So let's try out this Posca marker. This was way too much, but I think you can see the point. Good news is you can go back and forth and go in with the colors again. Tone it down a little. I don't know if I made it worse or better, but you know what I mean. And it also really works well, as I told you before, if you want to combine this with colored pencils like this. And as you can see, you can even use inks to give it a more comic-like look. And even after doing that, you can still go in with some acryl, uh, with some uh, uh, watercolors. But you have to be careful, when you already added the line, it might be smudging. So here we have wet on wet and wet on dry method. But you can also go ahead and mix those two. So if you have a painting or drawing like this, whatever you want to call it, you can still go ahead, wetten up the paper, Choose a nice color for the hair and go nuts! You can achieve some crazy looks right there. Throw in some black. And maybe do something crazy like this. Cool look! I guess what I want to tell you with this, you can really go nuts with watercolors. And when you gently remove the tape, it looks even better. Okay, so now that we have covered the basics, let's do a proper drawing. Comic book style! Since we now know all the basics of the watercoloring process, we will paint the honk. And for that, we will need a quick sketch in pencils. And there it is! Only two days later. As usual, I had to work a lot. I had to take care of the kids, all that stuff. But today is the day. I drew this sketch with my 0.5mm mechanical pencil. The 3H LED makes sure that the lines are light enough to not to be seen through the watercolors. If you're interested in the sketching process, check out any other video on my YouTube channel. All about comic book drawings. But today we are here for watercolors, so let's put our knowledge to good use. I drew this sketch on a pretty thick bristle board. This should be able to hold some water. So let's go! Okay, so this one is ready to rumble! But there's something I didn't tell you about the watercolor set right here. It doesn't just contain this brush, there's also a 2B pencil, an eraser, a pad for doing this when the brush is wet and there's also this extra water tank brush. So let's fill this with water. Nice! Now we can press right here and water will drip out of the pencil. That's pretty cool when you're on the road. Perfect, no mess. But for this painting, I will mostly use my old Da Vinci pencil. It's a size 10. So let's draw. No, paint, let's paint. Since I haven't painted for quite a while, I will start with the rocks right here. So let's get some gray tones and let's go people. Okay, so this is my first layer. I will let it dry now a little bit and then I will add the second one. Okay, I guess it's dry enough and now I will add a second layer. And in this case it's pretty simple because I'm just using this base color right here and I will use it again. If you are mixing a color on an extra plate, make sure to mix enough color so you don't have to mix it again and find the right tone. So let's go! She's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick. All the boys there can't help it, it's a habit. Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket. I just wanna get her all alone on a mattress. Okay, so as you can see, I added another layer. I even mixed in another gray tone. 
and I think it's good enough. I could spend more time on these, but I want to do the Hulk and I don't have all day, so let's go for the green. Okay people, so as you can see I actually took another plate to mix the colors in and the other thing I showed you earlier, if you did pay attention, you can always do this. Just add the color, then get rid of all the color, even wash out the brush and then you can drag the color through the area you want to shade. You see? Works pretty good. Now we'll mix in some yellow tones to lighten up some areas. Yellow goes great with green. And you will have noticed I changed the brush. Because this one doesn't soak so much of the water, which is easier for the size of the drawing. Painting actually. But on the other hand, I have to say the brush isn't the best. It's the one from the set. But you can see it makes a little bit of an end like this and the brush should always be straight then you know you have a good brush but still it's working good enough and as you can see you can soften up those formal layers as well so you can see you can even go through large surfaces in another layer as well i just used a little bit more yellow in this one and it looks nice it gives an overall nice tone to it okay so we got the basic colors done but we still need to do some wings because it's the hulk he needs some not some he needs a lot of wings so i will take some yellow some yellow color and then i will just paint in some wings and you will see too much water you will see this works even through the air because it's watercolor. I can still make the other layer lighter. And when I'm done with those, I will give them a little bit of a shade with a darker green tone. But you can see how easy this works. So you can see the veins work pretty well with this method. And another very cool thing with using aquarelle colors, watercolors, I've just water on my pencil now and I can do some highlights just like that. And then you just let the pencil soak in the rest of the color. Working pretty good. But you have to be careful not to ruin the paper when you do that. So don't overdo this, but you can do a little bit of it. Works nicely. Okay people, now we have some layers of watercolor. If you want to, you could add more layers to make it even more smooth. Or you could use colored pencils to make it even way more smooth than it is now. Works brilliantly, but takes a lot of extra time. Or you could just go ahead and ink this thing right now, which I will do. If you would like to learn how to render properly, check out my how to render video here on this channel. Okay, so let's use this dude right here. Tombo Fudenzoku, right? Fuden what? Yes, I got it right. F no. <laughs> Fudenzuke. Fudenzuke brush pen. Really good pen. So, let's ink. people the line weight is done and also some very small details on the rocks and now it depends on the look you want to achieve you can keep it like that or if you like me you like more hatching and cross hatching and strong blacks and all that stuff so let's just move on and do that 
because I'm a sucker for details, as you can see right here, for example. Okay guys, we are done with our painting or drawing or whatever you want to call it. This is a very comic booky approach to this drawing. If you use real watercolor paper, um, you can go in with way more of those wet on wet techniques, which would make it look more artistically. But that's just a style choice. I would have liked to go in with more strong blacks, but the watercolors, at least some of those color tones, they weren't too fitting with my ink tools and I didn't want to ruin too much of them, so I went for a very bright look. And as you have been able to see, you can also use the toothbrush trick to do all those splatters and some extra textures like these. Just be creative. Okay, but what to do if you would like to win this unused and new set of really nice artist draw watercolors? It comes with the whole shebang, loads of colors, eraser, pencil, two brushes, even this water brush, a sponge and even really really good watercolor paper. Although it's pretty small, but it's a really good paper. All you have to do to win this is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. And if you're interested in our Tristro products, the link is down in the description. In about a week from now, I will use my random app, I will count the comments and then the app will pick one comment for me and this will be the winner. And if you should be the winner, I will contact you through the comments, so stay alert. And then I would like to send you an email to get your address so I can mail you this awesome set. But now it's time to go. It's beautiful outside. Kids need some daddy time, so I will leave you now. And if you should enjoy Hulk drawings, then check out this video. That's a very cool Hulk I drew just in pencils. Really like that one. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, not just because of the chance of winning a watercolor set, because my videos are awesome. And I want to see you in my next one. But now, kick this.